Now, one of the most common problems that you'll ever get with your fish, be it fresh or saltwater fish, cold water or tropical fish, is white spot. So white spot is a common name for little parasites. Now, when the fish are happy and they've got good immune systems, the parasites are rarely a problem because the fish have very effective antiparasitic body slime and they have antibodies that can control various pathogens and everybody's very happy. Now, I do not believe in the idea of a white spot free tank, though maybe technically possible it just isn't a real thing what tends to happen is the white spot or the various species of pathogens um, have got various life cycles and providing that the fish have good immune system the pathogens are able to um, host on the fish not cause them any sort of problem and continue their lives it's only when the immune system of the fish are down where the parasite is actually able to take control and overcome the fish and make the fish um, sick. And that's got to do with um, parasitic load. So if you have got a tank and the fish are all healthy and happy, they're getting good nutrition, they're getting good water quality, then white spot is really not a big issue. If something happens in the immune system of the fish fall, even if you haven't added new fish for like a year, Therefore, you're not introducing any new white spot or potential white spot. Then if the temperature drops, the oxygen goes off or anything significant happens that tests the immune system of the fish, then when the fish stress, the immune system basically stops working because all of their energy goes into the fight or flight system, their um, respiration system and stuff like that. So what you don't want to do is um, have a situation where you end up with white spot, such as what happened in here. The reason why this has ended up with white spot is because it's got too cold for the fish that we had in there, and then they got white spot. And then what you don't want to do is try to use the same nets or any or siphon pipes or anything from this water into the other water. Otherwise, there's a very possible yet very remote chance that you're going to transfer the pathogens from one environment to another environment. So typically that is not how the fish get the pathogen. In general, they get the pathogen because their immune system is too low. But in these sorts of situations, you wanna just take any precaution that you can. So not transferring anything from there into the healthy ones. And then if you do have to transfer anything from there to there, it's much better off to fully dry it because let's say that I've used this net and then I just let it completely dry, then tomorrow it would be fine to use in here because the white spot isn't going to survive the dry environment. So just one thing to be careful of, if you do have a white spot situation, you want to consider that as a quarantine and you don't want anything, no water, no um, nets or siphons, no decorations, no filter media and definitely no fish getting transferred into something that's healthy. What you really need to do is address the problem that you've got, fix the health of the animals, then stabilize it for four to six, for two to four weeks before introducing anything over into a healthy environment. Otherwise, you are risking increased parasitic load and therefore increasing the chance of um, fish getting sick.